The Clemson Tigers just had their spring game. And in this video, I got the Clemson Tigers spring game breakdown. What I seen and what I want to see this season from the Clemson Tigers. Now, look, these last couple years for the Clemson Tigers have been horrible. I ain't going to lie. It's been under expectations. Ever since y'all lost Trevor Lawrence, Dabo Sweeney just haven't been the same. Y'all offense haven't been the same. Yes, y'all could blame it on DJ Ugalele. Yes, but listen, it was an offensive problem, an offensive scheme problem. Um, they didn't really help DJ out a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if he's successful at Oregon State. Listen, Oregon State is one of those programs that's, you know, just a quarterback away. You know, it's you know, it's people out, it's teams out here that's a quarterback away, then it's teams out here that's not. But man, in the spring game, I saw a lot of things that I did like, and I saw a lot of things that I don't necessarily like. Now, the offensive scheme change is light years ahead. But with the Garrett Riley offensive scheme, we seen what happened when they when TCU played Georgia in a national championship. That defense, that offensive scheme got completely annihilated. And that's one thing that I'm scared about about this scheme. But to get through the ACC, I think this scheme is very, very good. If y'all got through the ACC with the scheme, offensive scheme y'all had last year, y'all definitely going to be able to get through the ACC with the scheme y'all got this year. But the question I have for Qu for Clemson and Clemson as a whole is y'all's wide receiver play. Clemson used to have some great wide receivers such as T. Higgins, um, you know, receivers like that. T. Higgins, the number 13, I think his name was something Humphrey. He was like a slot receiver, Caucasian slot receiver. He was really, really good in the comment section. Y'all could clean that up for me. But man, y'all need to get, you know, to see who y'all gonna be out, who's gonna be out there at receiver, period, point blank. Because this specific offensive scheme is, you know, based on wide receivers and how good your wide receivers. Do y'all have that deep threat? Do y'all have that wide, that wide out Quentin Johnston type? Because that's what made TCU so great is they had a first round wide receivers catching balls. I don't see nobody on Clemson that's a first round wide receiver. You feel me? Period, point blank. I just don't see it. So what scares me is the offensive scheme. Yes, it's a change, but do y'all have the personnel to run that offensive scheme? Which I don't know because in the spring game, it didn't really look too hot. I watched the first couple quarters of the spring game. You know, y'all got two good quarterbacks. Two good quarterbacks that can place the ball, that got good, you know, arm placement. You know, y'all, that's always what Clemson got. But I'm just saying, like, Y'all had always had great running backs and great wide receivers. Now, Will Shipley, he's a great, 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 you know, player. You feel me? I, I believe Will Shipley is probably one of the best players in the ACC. I didn't really see him in the spring game. If he played, he played minimal because that's y'all best player on the team. I, I'm pretty sure Dabo do not want to let him get hurt. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's just how I'm looking at it. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, um... But other than that, I, I know K. Kleblick, he's a good quarterback. Um, based on the spring game, I could definitely see his ability to, you know, make good throws out of the pocket. I definitely, definitely see improvement. And one thing about K. Klubnik is he's a baller. But what really gets me about him is he, is he a big game player. Now, when y'all had um, Trevor Lawrence, we already know Trevor Lawrence was a big game player. He had a beautiful throw. He threw a beautiful ball. K. Klubnik, he has, you know, huge, huge glaring problems throwing the deep ball. You feel me? Um, his deep ball accuracy is not that good. Trevor Lawrence was exceptional at that. So what I'm saying is, am I seeing a talent, you know, a talent going down at Clemson? Now, we know NIL has been... You know, crazy. A lot of people don't agree with NIL, which I'm one of those persons. I believe NIL is bull. You feel what I'm saying? It's bull job. Um, it is disrupting teams. It's disrupting college football. Um, but it could be good for certain kids that r are really good, but they just not going to play and they go somewhere else and show out. That definitely does give them give them an opportunity to make a name for themselves. But I'm just saying, like, it seems like Clemson is dying as NIL is dying. I just don't see the same caliber athlete y'all used to be able to compete on the field with the alabamas the georgias you feel me 
but it's just not there no more. Yes, y'all do have studs on y'all's defensive line. I cannot look over that. Clemson always has studs on the defensive line. Y'all still do, man. That defensive line is going to be uber talented. That's one thing about Clemson. Y'all always have a good defense and a good defensive line. Now, y'all secondary can do a little work. Um, y'all do have athletes out there on the secondary that can really, really make plays like true athletes. But I'm just saying they need to work on a game a little bit. Um, Clemson used to be a great secondary with a great defensive line. Always had great players, man. Um, I know that because I watched y'all beat my Buckeyes two times in the college football playoff. And we always put good offenses on the field, very high efficiency offenses. So, you know, I can't really say nothing about y'all defense. I believe y'all defense is good enough to, you know, win the ACC and compete for a national championship. But I just don't know if Garrett Riley is the answer. I think he was a quick hire. I understand y'all want to involve y'all's offense. Y'all want to have a, you know, a fun looking offense. But I just don't think Clemson got the players anymore. I don't think they got the the wideouts. Now, Joseph Nagata, he's a very good player. But what scares me about Nagata is his consistency. I didn't really see him be consistent last year. And in the spring game, it was like y'all's receivers wasn't really making a lot of plays. So I'm really, really worried about that, man. Another thing that's a glaring difference from this on this Clemson team is the the ability to not have um, a middle linebacker stuffer like Nick Shalski. Remember Shalski? He used to hit hard. He used to be in the middle of y'all's defense. I don't think y'all have that no more. And that's what really scares me about y'all, that it, it really do. But, man, I believe Clemson, man, this year, man, I think y'all 10-2. I think y'all maybe win at SEC, I mean, the ACC, and let somebody come challenge y'all, you know, because the ACC is so much of a weak conference. Um, I'm just very interested to see if Dabo could find, get over the hump with K. I, I want to see it. Um, that's the only way that I'll put him in a legendary status with coaches. If he go out there and win a national championship with a different quarterback other than Trevor Lawrence, because Trevor Lawrence, as we've seen last year in the NFL, he's a generational quarterback. That's just me. You don't have to agree with me with that statement or not. But, man, it's your boy, the Slimy Lou, man. Make sure you like up, subscribe up to the channel, hit that notification bell. And look, man, I'm going to continue to get y'all this dope banger content. I'm out. Peace.